I'm not ashamed to share with you this uh, bad experience because it was my mistake. But obviously, one of the reasons why we uh, record these videos is uh, uh, to let other people not make the mistakes we did. We are Aldo, Vera and Toto. For over five years, we have been driving around the world with our self-converted tiny home on wheels. And we visited more than 50 countries on five continents, with next destination, Africa. Through our videos, we show how beautiful, but at the same time, how fragile our planet is, hoping to raise awareness about environmental concerns and inspire people to take action. Subscribe to our channel and join our adventure. Hello everyone, in about two hours we will leave Italy. We are a little bit sad but also very happy because we really had a good time here. We met some wonderful special people and uh, made some memories that we will treasure forever. So yeah, the expedition continues. Tonight we will be in a new country, country number 53 and we are very excited. We are so tired. The past few days have been so hectic, we've been really busy with the final preparations. Uh, we took Toto uh, Toyota for the final checks, everything is good. We've done some modifications, packed our things, we re the AC, in fact now we are uh, nice and cool. We don't use the air condition that much, but uh, it's nice sometimes. We also have some chill is drying, that's uh, a typical thing that uh, people in southern Italy uh, do during this time of the year so we got that also and uh, we went to say bye to all our friends that were in the area it was nice to see them one more time so we are uh, again very excited happy and uh, tired but happy on the road again let's go It's really beautiful here this morning. We just finished our breakfast and uh, I wanted to tell you what happened yesterday because our first day in Greece could have turned into complete disaster. Basically, to get here, you need to do a little water crossing. But when I entered into the river, I didn't check well which route to take and I almost damaged the rear differential, the rear transmission of our Toto. Let's get closer so I'm gonna show you more in details what happened. We are back to the crime scene. So basically, I got out of the car and I went to inspect all the area here. And I saw that on the left side, there was like a downhill kind of uh, regular that could have allowed me to enter into the river more easily. And on the right, there was this like step 
which is about 30-40 cm, but if you calculate also uh, the, the, the entrance of the river, it's about 40-50 cm. So I kept in mind left, because on the left was this hill, this downhill. But obviously from the inside the car, uh, left corresponds to the right. So this is what happened. I got confused between left and right and I ended up on the step. So coming from the road, I couldn't see well where I was going and despite entering very slowly, the car basically digged inside the river and we touched with the skid plate at the bottom with all these rocks. Uh, we got scared, I stopped the car, uh, I tried to get out, I tried to get back, but obviously with all the weight at the back and the uh, dependence about like this, I couldn't get, I couldn't reverse it. Uh, we checked everything, I put some stones, uh, I was a bit scared for the rear differential that could hit the, the little step on the way in the river, but we managed to do it. So luckily only the tow bar at the rear touched a little bit the stones, but nothing serious, and we got a few scratches under the skid plate, no damages. We just found this in the water with this metal we could have really damaged the wheel of our toto i'm not ashamed to share with you this bad experience because it was my mistake but obviously one of the reasons why we record these videos is to let other people not make the mistakes we did so basically, when you want to cross a river, a stream of water, first you got to go there on foot and check the depth, so with the level of water on your legs and so on. The consistency of the bottom, if there is rocks, sand, if it is muddy, but most importantly, check if there is a more leveled path into the river, like a downhill that can take you better inside. Luckily, there were no serious damages, everything went okay, and we learned from our mistakes. Uh, that's why I walked along the river and I also found a better way out and that we will use later to leave this beautiful place. The time, ha <laughs> the time has arrived to give our Toto another flag and we will position it next to Italy. And finally, we are in Greece. Yesterday we arrived late at night, so we decided to stay around the port. But today we took advantage of a beautiful sunny day and found this beautiful spot surrounded by mountains with a clear, clear river, very refreshing. And we are celebrating our arrival here. So we got some grilled uh, eggplants with walnuts and uh, olive oil made by me, a piece of uh, smoked mozzarella cheese brought from Italy, some uh, Greek yellow bread, <laughs> and a bottle of red wine, Chianti from Tuscany, given by a good friend of ours. It's time to celebrate. Bon appetit! Amore, what are you doing? I'm washing my hair. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Which you using the Ewa shampoo? Yes, which is a solid eco biological shampoo. So it's plastic free, made with essential oils, and uh, it's all organic. So the most important thing that I feel good about it, but I don't com contaminate the environment. So it's completely safe for environment and myself. <laughs> We use this kind of soaps, Ewa in particular uh, ships to all uh, Europe, Italy and even United States and Canada and we got a special 15% uh, discount in the description if you want to give it a go and also 10% uh, discount of other Italian companies that are supporting us with uh, eco-friendly soaps and uh, you can give it a go to them as well because they ship not just in Italy but also in all Europe. Nice and clean, ready to go. <laughs> I just heard some thunders in the distance, so it's time to leave because we are camping in the riverbed and uh, what is happening in the distance, even if it is 20-30 kilometers away up in the mountains so there may be sunshine here but raining over there and then in few hours the, uh, the level of the water may rise and that could be a problem to get out of here so it's time to leave